Adventurers, welcome to the third War of Imperium here in Ragnarok Online GGH. We are your casters once again. My name is James. And my name is MG. So, yes, yeah, James. Uh, yeah. Third session of War of Imperium. Are you excited for this one, James? Uh, yes, pretty much excited because now we can see uh, maybe quite a few battles uh, will happen uh, for this third session. Mm -hmm. Because uh, last session, um, you know, most of our participants were. Um, aiming for the points. Yep. They, they really wanted to go for the points. They were, uh, you know, part participating to earn uh, most of the rewards here for our event. You know, uh, because uh, still, we are, um, you know, celebrating yep. the grand opening of our War of Imperium here in Ragnarok Online uh, GGH. For the first four sessions of War of Imperium, participants mm -hmm. are able to earn rewards based on the total amount of points they can accumulate after four sessions. And, you know, to earn points, a guild yep. must be able to hold a castle after the end of every session, and each castle is worth one point. Yep, and at the same time, uh, there are four tiers for the rewards. For tier A, mm -hmm. they need to have like 10 points. Tier B, mm -hmm. 7 points. And tier C, 4 points. And tier D, 2 points. Only the highest eligible tier reward will be awarded uh, to the guild, of course. To qualify for tier A or tier B, a guild must hold at least one castle at every session. And of mm -hmm. course, for more information about this event that we have right now, you can visit our website, ro.genjoy.asia, or join the ROGGH Discord. Links can be found yes. in the description below. Yes, and uh, I think our War of Imperium already has started, so we can actually check. Uh, let's take a look at, of course, one of the hot castles that uh, you know we've been seeing since the first yep. session of War of Imperium. <laughs> Here in Scarlet, last nightmare still here defending the castle. As we can see, still mm -hmm. a lot of uh, members of last night nightmare just defending the portal here in uh, Scarlet. Of course, uh, let's uh, let's uh, talk about what happened in the last yeah. session, MG. You know, some some other guilds, uh, you know, they didn't actually manage to get a castle for yep. the uh, for the second session. Of War of Imperium, which makes them ineligible to get those tier A, uh, to, to get the tier A or tier, tier B rewards. Yes. yes, yes, and um, I'm, I just want to say this, James, and um, I just really like uh, the consistency of the numbers of last night here. They have mm -hmm. been consistent since day one, they mm -hmm. proved that uh, they have more numbers on day two, and on this uh, day three or this third session, still. They have that um, awesome numbers on their roster. So, yes. um, kudos to this guild. Yes, they still have a lot of numbers like what you said. I think Dominari has a lot of numbers as well. Let's see uh, later on if Last Nightmare um, will push out of the castle or push out of Scarlet. Maybe they are defending this castle still for the economy of this castle. But we can see right now, Money Heist is trying to oh. enter this castle right now. But, you know, the defense of Last Nightmare is too much to handle yep. for um, medium to small size guilds for the time being. So maybe Money Heist is just trying to scout out what uh, what the defense of Light Last yep. Nightmare is right now. But we are going to see maybe some battles here in Scarlet Palace um, like what happened in the first session of War of Imperium. Yep, and as you can see, I think uh, there's a brand, uh, there's a new logo that uh, that popped there. I think that's a uh, new guild. Mm -hmm. um, they have the red logo earlier. They actually pushed with uh, Money Heist. And mm -hmm. again, if they want to uh, fully commit on this, um, on this castle, they need to bring more numbers and at the same time, they need to timely um to push on uh, on their numbers they need to have mm -hmm. that um solid core members pushing in they need to disrupt those uh, uh rockies on the floor in the same time they need to hit the back as fast as they can to eliminate those hard pressures on the entrance mm -hmm. yeah you are correct in that scenario uh mg they need to push because um you know they need to push really really perfectly because what I've been seeing right now, I think um, maybe two Rockisville casted on the yep. floor. One for on the left side, one on the right side, maybe. Um, but, uh, you know, this is going to be a hard push for the guilds that are going to try and, uh, you know, capture this castle. Because Last Nightmare <laughs> is just defending this yep. castle really, really hardly. They've been defending this since the second session. Yep. 
um, since they conquered it in the first session. So, you know, this castle has didn't change ownership at all since the second session because exactly. Last Nightmare has been doing a good job with defending this. So they are taking care of the economy of this castle. And, uh, you know, um, unlike the other castles that... Uh, the economy is kind of busted right now because yep. uh, other builds it. are yep. conquering it. Um, you know, for the first, the for, for the first two sessions, yep. uh, they've been changing ownership for um, uh, you know for quite a while for the, exactly. the two-hour yes, session. I, yes, and at the same time, um, if last nightmare has that solid defense, of course we know Money Heist. We saw the fights versus Arsenal. They managed to dominate that fight. They are very consistent and they're very very eager in every fight that they have. So I think this is going to be a good matchup. It's just uh, Money Heist needs to have that a bit of push of members or a bit of... Uh, they might need a bit of numbers to push mm -hmm. this Last Nightmare defense. Again, um, so far in this entire session, Last Nightmare managed to prove to everyone that they can actually secure one castle out of all the guilds that's participating right now. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Last Nightmare already has 8 points right now. Yep. So maybe we will be seeing them push later on because they managed to secure 3 <laughs> points in the last session, 5 points in the first session. So yep. they are 2 points away from, uh, you know, being eligible to get that tier A, um, tier a yep. reward. Uh, Dominari is the same as well. Dominari by Delinquent. I think that's the red one. Yep. Uh, um, the red Dominari um, emblem. So yep. they, they, read, they also have 8 points. Um, they got, managed to get 3 points in the first session and 2 points in the... Mm. Uh, uh, 5 points in the second session. Yep. So maybe in the third session, they, maybe they will uh, try and get the remaining points that they need and for the fourth <laughs> session they only need one yep. so we will be seeing their strategy later on maybe we will see a few uh, GVGs here and there but right now as we can see MG uh, I think this is nonsense uh, nonsense nonsense yes nonsense along with money high just money heights, it yep. out here in uh, Virgil Castle oh uh, quick land protector there that's very mm -hmm. uh, good initiative from that um from that player, I think uh, nonsense managed to uh, fall back on this um, clash versus uh, Money Heist. Money mm -hmm. Heist right now is very eager. Like I said, uh, they're actually one of the guilds that uh, focuses on fights. So um, maybe that's the reason why they didn't um, force any um, captures on the last session because they just want to have those quick fights or big fights against other guilds. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think Goons is going to be here as well to try and capture this castle. We can see two guilds of Goons, uh, the blue one oh. and the red one. Dominari is here the as well. The numbers are insane now. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough battle wow. for our guilds right here. Dominari is just stacking up there in the left side of this castle while um, I think Nonsense is going to be here along with Goons on the right side. Um, some members of Bunny Heist are, are going to be here as well. But I think Dominari is going to push right now. They are going to enter the castle slowly but perfectly. Yep. Um, well coordinated. Uh, I, I'm not sure if someone is defending the castle right now. Uh, I think this is held by... I think Nonsense is defending. Mm -hmm. yeah, someone is going to defend this castle maybe later on. But I think uh, you know they are going to plan... They are planning to defend this castle maybe later after they conquer it. Yep. Because you can see the numbers of Dominari here. And it's insane. Maybe if they decide to push Scarlet Palace, okay. maybe they will um, I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if uh, if I'm correct on what I'm seeing. I think Guns and Dominari is not hitting each other. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Uh maybe um, they are allied with one or another though. Uh, yeah, I think they are allied with one another because they are... No, 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 yeah. no, 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 they're just, they just yeah. have the same logo, maybe they're just ignoring each other yep. right there, but, uh, or maybe they have a, a, an agreement that they will capture this castle and Dominari is going to defend for them, yep. so, and uh, they didn't ally with one another so that they can capture 
the castle that is uh, taken by you know the same guild. Yes. So maybe they have an agreement, they have an alliance in mind, but they didn't actually, um, you know, put the alliance or uh, formally allied <laughs> for one another. Minute. Again, it's a, it's a two minute war, James. It's a two minute war. Um, I think it's two, too two early. Hours. Yeah, two, two hours. hours. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, it's a two hour, hour war, and yeah. I think it's too early for for them to burn those resources right away. And um, mm -hmm. you know, Dominari, what I like about this guild is. They're very versatile when, uh, when it comes to um, strategies. They can actually split forces and cap multiple objectives, and they can actually break a, a solid defense. So uh, th for today, I think I'm very, very looking forward on uh, to see Dominari facing Last Nightmare on that solid defense. Mm -hmm. So let's see if uh, Dominari will push, or are they going to be... Uh, um, a flat or uh, a ninja guild again that will cap multiple points just to take over mm -hmm. those uh, just to steal those lead points out of the hands of um, last nightmare. Well, yes. yeah, and MG, I think you can actually go out and check out the entrance of the the castle. So Arsenal, Arsenal is going to push in. So maybe you know the uh, the numbers of Arsenal aren't. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. Alan. Don't cast, okay. So okay. they are helping each yeah, other yeah, right yeah. now. Okay. Oh, okay. So maybe, uh, you know, as what we see right here, Arsenal that... and Dominari aren't hitting each other. So they actually, uh, I saw someone there pubbed. Uh, don't cast. Don't cast. Don't, don't cast. cast. Yeah. I saw that. Uh, yeah, so they are not fo formally allied with one another. So they are going to defend each other's cast. So maybe they are helping uh, the other guild to gain points. For yes. them to to get those rewards that they, yes. uh, they need, I think uh, they're gonna do that because again, in order for get uh, in order for them to get those tier uh, tier A rewards, they need to secure at least uh, ten points, mm -hmm. right? And currently, what we have is uh, Dominari is on is sitting on the eight points tied with uh, last sniper. Mm -hmm. So they are just going to defend this. I think Goons Arsenal even and Goons, Dominari. I think even Goons so, is not. Uh, so they are they I think those these three guilds are allied with one another right now. Dominari, Goons, and Arsenal. Yeah. And so so this is going to be a tough battle for you know the other guilds as well. Because you know, because of the allied uh, mm -hmm. forces right here. Um if they decide to push last nightmare, uh you know, last nightmare is going to have a hard time because you know three guilds allied with one another is going to be a tough battle to deal with. Uh, especially with Dominari having two guilds, mm -hmm. the the red one and the purple one. Yep. Um, Arsenal has decent numbers along with goons, so yeah, this is going to be a tough battle for Last Nightmare if they decide to push Scarlet Palace later on. Yep. And to be fair, I think that's a good strategy coming from their alliance because mm -hmm. again, um, for the first session, it's more on the pointing system. Regardless how many fights you uh you want or how many um guilds you wipe. In the end of the day, it's a pointing system. They need to get that reward um, to use uh, to the next uh, Warframe Imperium, maybe, right? Or mm -hmm. uh, maybe on their farming as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe let's try and take a look at the other castle. So I think just a game is also allied with Dominari. Mm. Uh, because I see just a game emblem yeah. in the yep, yep, stack yep. of Dominari, the, the pink one. Yep. It's here. Yeah, so. <laughs> A lot of allies here for Dominari. This is going to be a tough battle for the other guilds right here. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And I'm very excited for 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 this session. Like, who's gonna push? Who's gonna cap? Um, are they gonna help Dominari secure that um, lead points, or are they gonna properly distribute the points to their alliance? So, mm -hmm. again, we we have 20 castles open. Um, I think also the small guilds are taking advantage of this one and uh, they're very aware that um, the big guilds and the medium side guilds are uh, you know helping each other mm -hmm. so it's a perfect time to uh, you know secure those uh, one to one or two points on yeah. their on their pockets yeah well you know I, I want to explain the points right here for mm -hmm. for a bit. MG. Yeah. Uh, Dominari 
uh, like what I've said earlier, has eight points. I think this is the red emblem, yeah. Dominary, uh, led by Delinquent. Uh, eight points for their guild, Dominary, led by Shuya. I think this is the pink one. Uh, already has six points. So four points away from getting that tier A reward. But again, in order for you to get uh, that tier A reward, you need at least one castle for every session. So they need to get a castle here in the third session, a, a castle in the fourth uh, yep. session, and have a total of uh, 10 points or more. Exactly. Right? I think um, the guilds are yeah, very consistent uh, as well on capping the their castles. And uh, there's... I think they're gonna get that tier A or B as well. Mm -hmm. So I think just a game needs to get some points as well. And at the same time, with their allies, mm -hmm. yeah, goons as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because just the game didn't actually capture or didn't secure a cash, uh, castle, castle for the yeah. second session, uh, they are not eligible to get that tier A or or tier B reward but they can still get that tier C or tier yep. B reward depending on the points that uh, they manage to accumulate at the end of four sessions or at the end of the fourth session of War of Imperium yep. but you know um, you know one of their allies or uh, the, the so-called guild that they are helping right now Arsenal as well uh, has two points uh, right now mm -hmm. so maybe they are going to help Arsenal as well to secure those points Goons uh, headed by Wolf. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that is the red one or the the pink one. I think um, is that red? Oh, the purple one. Um, I I don't know, but the Goons already has two points on the board right now. So maybe they are going to help Goons as well. So they need a lot of points to catch up. Uh, we know to get to to get that tier A reward at the end exactly. of the fourth session. Okay, so I think this is a KOS kill on site, and uh, mm -hmm. they have uh, decent numbers today, and uh, they're very consistent on this castle. To be fair, they've been uh, mm -hmm. holding this since uh, day one. Yeah, but I don't think the numbers right here of uh, kill on site is actually you know that decent. They are a small size guild right now. But they are going to, they are holding this castle for quite a bit of time now. So maybe uh, they are going to hold this uh, castle here in this third session as well. But uh, let's take a look at the other castles right now. Um, I think Nemesis Armada is here. So this is yeah. another guild. I think the Ald Alde Castle 1. So they are breaking in the Imperium right now as what I'm seeing. Um, yeah. yeah, this yeah. is the logo that I saw earlier. Yeah, Nemesis Armada. Yeah, that is that is Nemesis Armada. So they are going to break um, the castle. They don't have points right now. So this is the first time that they actually managed to show themselves yep. and the break a castle. So maybe they didn't actually secure points in the first and second session. I don't remember if they... Uh, you know, show, uh, they showed themselves in the first session. I think this is the but, first uh, time. But definitely not on the second session, yep. though. Okay, and I just want to tackle as well the... Uh, what do you call this? The the catch-up mechanic that they did here on this uh, Warf Imperium. Mm -hmm. I really like what they did because um, if they cannot get the tier, tier A and B, small mm -hmm. guilds and new guilds that who just entered the game can actually... Um, cap that uh, tier C and tier D as well. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, if you ha if you manage to secure a decent amount of points, one to three points, or even one point, you can get rewards to uh, jumpstart your guild. And yeah. um, again, that's a really good move um, coming from our server. And uh, hopefully, um, they can actually um, the guilds can actually recruit more. And at the same time, we have the reset as well, the mm -hmm. skill reset, at the same time. Mm. The stat reset that they can actually uh, do uh, before the War Imperium starts. Yes. Uh, but right now, MG, let's take a look at Kremhild Castle or Pantera Castle 1. Um, I, I saw some players here just roaming around. I think this is from Money Heist. And uh, I think Nonsense is here as well. Nonsense, so yeah. If you go in the yep. castle soon. This is nonsense, money heist. I think they are going to battle each other um, 
later on as they enter this castle. May I think nonsense, nonsense is the one defending the castle. Yep. Um, I think Money Heist is chasing nonsense. I think this is the third time that we saw um Money uh, nonsense moving to a different castle, and Money Heist on the other hand is you know trying to pursue them. So. Yep. Okay. So uh, yeah, th what well, this is the part of Kremhild or the third portal is the the spot in Kremhild that you know has a lot of defenses and that uh, you know one of the choke points, uh, better choke points here in this this castle, Kremhild yep. castle. So maybe uh, you know we're just going to wait for Money Heist to push yep. in and see what happens uh, when they do so. Um, they have a solid defense here for now. They have Rocky's Veil just casted on the floor, but let's not, you know, linger on this spot for a long time. Okay. Um, you know, uh, we can see some members of Nonsense just scouting mm -hmm. the outside of that portal to make sure that, you know, to scout the defenses or the attack, the, the attackers right here. Uh, okay. So they are going to push right now. Money High is pushing in. We can see here the Dragon's Breath and Arrow Storm getting casted here on the floor at Money High's Locust Veil is still active right here. And uh, they cannot cast that land protector because you know there's a Rocky's Veil on the floor, and uh, this is going to make it harder for Money Heist to push that uh castle. And right now we can see some rolling cutters getting casted here. So uh you know the massive damage will be taken by Money Heist if they enter this. So the first priority I think that Money Heist needs to do is to get rid of the Loki's Veil that yep. is casted on that portal. Yes, and again, good recognition again from uh, Nonsense. They noticed mm -hmm. that um, Money Heist ha doesn't have that big number right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I think um, the, with the Dragon Spread and Rolling Counter at the entrance, managed to punish the uh, attackers on the mm -hmm. side of, uh, of this castle. So very, very uh, well executed here coming from Nonsense. Again, I think uh, Nonsense has a little bit of advantage regarding for numbers, but again, Money Heist, on the other hand, we know that there are uh, a fight guild or a GVG guild that mm -hmm. they're not backing out in any fight. So let's see for the round two if they can secure this push for this Kremlin castle. Yes, and... Uh... You know, slowly but surely, Money Heist is going to try and secure this castle. I think so. They are still pushing this castle. So another scout here. There's a warlock that actually came out from nonsense to scout out what ha what's happening at the outside of um, outside the the portal. So they, they casted that manhole to secure or to isolate the player exactly. that actually goes out. So yeah. you know, I think what Money Heist needs to do right now is to get rid of that Rogue's Veil. Yep. Because uh, I saw their sorcerer just maybe going to the side, just going beside, behind that portal, yep. beside that portal, to maybe try and cast that uh, baby land protector to protect themselves from AOE spells. Yep. Uh, and, uh, you know, if they actually manage to cast that land protector, uh, you know, they won't take as much damage as they did at, that, uh, at the first um, attempt. Mm -hmm. that they uh, actually did right here. But you can see some members of Nonsense going out, spider webs getting casted on the floor to prevent Nonsense from actually going back. <laughs> so they need to maybe take advantage of the players that are missing from Nonsense right yep. there. But then again, Nonsense has a flag warp. They will get warped at the third <laughs> uh, portal right there yep. um, where they are defending. So Money Heist is going to be having a hard time um, if they want to push this really, really perfectly. Yep. And I agree with you, James, sir, uh, on what you said earlier. They need to land that um, land protector as soon as possible. And again, we know Money Heist that they have those um, rangers that can destroy mm -hmm. one party. We saw that on the first and second um, session of this War of Imperium. And definitely, if that, if that ranger can secure that um, arrow storm, knocking out the first lane, or the first defense, they can actually just steamroll or melee train out the uh, the back lane of um, nonsense. So mm -hmm. the key here is to land that uh, land protector and uh, yeah. cast that uh, big AOEs. Yeah, but um, I think one another thing that Money Heist can do is um, when they push in, they need to uh, you know push in really really quickly to get out of the the range of Rocky's Field. 
So if they manage to do that, they can actually cast those skills and prevent themselves from getting, you know, eliminated in the process. And they can actually do some uh, do a bit of damage against uh, the other players as well from nonsense. Yep. So this is going to be a tough battle for Money Heist, especially because in our current session, emergency call is disabled. So um, you know, portal death is the key yep. into you know g getting securing a castle for the time being. And and to be fair, what I like about Money Heist, they're very, very uh, flashy when it comes Ooh, to fights. Well. Yep, quick land, land protector, protector there. was casted. Okay, yep. let's see if they can capitalize on that. Money Heist is trying to regroup. Most of the members are still stuck at the entrance now. And um, let's see if Suras can actually fly out and secure the back lane. But apparently, uh, nonsense is very uh, composed today. And mm -hmm. they didn't panic there. Rolling cutters are off and running. They managed to up again the uh, Rohis build there. Land protector casting, protecting the back lane. And as you can see, the flankers or the ground control players from nonsense taking um, managed to take out those flankers towards the mm -hmm. cast range um, or the casters area. Yeah. Well, you know, Money Heist managed to cast that land protector for a bit, maybe around a second only. Yeah. Uh, because uh, they they saw that, uh, you know, I think the, the Wanderer of Nonsense yeah. casted that uh, EDFM on the floor. Yeah. So, I, so it's a different one. So um, they actually capitalized on um, the casting time or the stay the stay time of the Rockies Veil on the floor. So maybe the time did perfectly to cast that land protector, but the, you know that sorcerer went down really really quickly because of the defense of um, nonsense. Yes. But you know, MG, let's take a look at the other castles right now. Maybe some action is happening at uh, different areas or different castles right now. Yep. And uh, good recovery there for nonsense, right? Mm -hmm. Good uh, recovery regarding for the land protector there. So yeah. let's get the check. Okay, Goons is here. Still, the defense coming from Goons. I think Dominari pushed out. Maybe they are going to secure other castles right now. Um, as to what we can see in the feed, uh, Chow actually managed to conquer one guild here. Finest. Okay, okay. And uh, Mga Babaero <laughs> actually captured Oof. one as well. Okay. So, uh, Fratres... Uh, Advitam. You know, uh, yeah. Fratres Advitam is... Uh, capturing castles as well so you know other castles are changing ownership really really quickly um some members of dominari is trying to push in on scarlet so maybe they are going to try and push scarlet arsenal i see some members of arsenal as here uh, here as well outside the portal mm -hmm. so maybe they are going to push this castle uh but then again the defense of last nightmare right now is going to be tough to handle especially for our uh, guilds because you know a lot of skills are getting casted the last might nightmare has probably 50 plus members yeah um right now so for a cap of uh, 56 this is going to be a hard tough battle for the other guilds who are going to try and capture this uh scarlet palace but again we saw what uh, what dominara can do um, regarding on uh, last nightmare's defense, we saw it on mm -hmm. the first uh, War of Imperium. Last nightmare has a solid defense, but Dominari managed to break that defense. And again, like we mentioned earlier, we have some alliances forming up right now. So Dominari plus Arsenal plus Goods are on the uh, on one side. So I think last nightmare needs to uh, check their options and you know. They need to have a plan B if uh, mm -hmm. if things go, you know, bad on their side. Yeah, if things go south. Yep. But, you know, I think Last Sniper also has their own alliances but um, are not known right now uh, for us. Um, yep. But as what we saw earlier, um, Dominari, Goons, um, <laughs> Just a Game, and Arsenal are, are allied with one another. So, okay. Um, again, this, yeah. Yeah, I think James already cut you off. I think what Domin uh, Dominari is trying to do here, they're trying to put pressure on Last Nightmare's castle, right? In order for them to not, you know, cap other castles, mm -hmm. right? I think that's what they're trying to do here. They just want to put the entire forces of Last Nightmare into one area in order, in order for them and their alliance 
to capture multiple points. Again, mm-hmm. they I think they just want to uh, uh, they just want to take the lead um, for this uh, entire four mm-hmm. War of Imperium session that we have. But if if that's the plan, I think that's gonna work, and uh, they can actually you know can uh, run over their points uh, versus uh, last night here. Yeah, but like what I've mentioned earlier, MG. Um, Scarlet Palace didn't change owners since yep. last week, since the first session of War of Imperium. So Last Nightmare has been holding this for a week now. Yep. If they actually invest on the economy for every day, you know, I think the economy will probably reach around, depending on the development of the, the, the level of the guild as well. Um, you know, maybe it will reach a, a higher level of economy for this castle, which, um, you know, uh, a higher economy for the castle means that you will have more chances of treasure chests spawning in your uh, treasure room. Yes. So, if the higher the economy, of course, more treasure chests will spawn. So, uh, if a Dominari or their alliance actually mm-hmm. manages to take this castle and you know Reset, break yeah. the imperium for a one time only um i think the, the economy of this castle won't you know uh, drop down yep. a lot yes um if that's the plan i think uh they need to do it um on the first part maybe or on the mid part of this uh session again this yeah, is a supply well, wars hmm. as well they need to uh you know save some resources for this in the for the entire two hours of uh, of this war. Yeah, well, we still have a lot of time, one hour and uh, thirty minutes to go for this third session of War of Imperium. But you know, MG, let's actually take a look at the other castles right now. Maybe Kremhild uh, still has money heist and uh, uh, what you call this money heist and nonsense dealing with one another right there. Um, you know, and uh, this is going to be a tough battle for the smaller, the small and medium-sized guilds because yep. you know, uh, Dominari is a big guild right now. They have two guilds: the 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 pink one and the the red one. Yep. The red one and yeah, the red Dominari and the pink Dominari. Yeah. To and be uh, fair, last night has members. a full cap. I think it's six members for them. Uh, so this is going to be a tough battle again for the medium size and the small size guild. Especially, oh especially with alliances getting formed. First wave Dominari, second wave Arsenal. This is gonna be interesting. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, let's uh, let's go with the the push here of yep. Dominari. If uh, Dominari actually pushes this, so uh, no, I I think they are going to change uh, the strategy right now. Arsenal is going to be yep. the first one to push in, and Dominari will push in second, or they are going to push in together. So if they actually do that, this is going to be a tough battle for Nonsense. But if Nonsense actually manages to defend this castle, this is going to be uh, a good thing for Nonsense. Right now, we are seeing Dragon Best Meteor Storm. Oh, that broke his feel- oh, feel- um, You know, disabled right now. But Land Protector has been casted on the floor right now. Nonsense actually getting members eliminated. Dominary wow. with a nice push along with Arsenal. Nice. Just doing what they can and eliminating the members of nonsense right here i think nonsense actually uh you know they have a solid defense right there but the numbers of dominari and arsenal are too much to handle uh for nonsense right now this is going to be a free break for dominari and arsenal i think nonsense just uh you know uh, decided that uh, they won't take this fight yeah. and uh, because you know this is going to be a tough battle uh, especially the numbers game um, this is uh, not really favorable for nonsense I mean, yeah. size guild, like uh, nine nonsense yeah and again good coordination there coming from um, Arsenal and um, mm-hmm. Dominari as well I think um, Arsenal took the massive hit there but again that massive hit uh, transition into a takeover from the first uh, for the front line of nonsense and le- led to a, a full break there to the Imperium of nonsense. So very mm-hmm. very well coordinated push there coming from Arsenal and Dominari. Yes. Yeah, so Kremhild Castle has changed ownerships. Uh, so it is secured by Dominari right now. Um, 
And yeah, other castles are are being captured right now by other guilds as well. So let's take a look at uh, Ohinchwango Castle in Aldebaran, MG. Alde, okay. Maybe we can t take a look at uh, what's happening right there. Maybe there's a guild right there. Not really sure right now. As, um, you know, we need to scout other castles as well. So no one in the amp room. So maybe someone is going to be capturing that castle later on. <laughs> but uh, let's uh, go back maybe to... Oh, oh, oh this is Chow. Yeah. This is uh, Chow Guild defending this castle. So <laughs> members of Goons are actually trying to enter. This is a small size guild. You know, they're tra trying their luck to maybe conquer a castle right here. Yep. And to be fair, uh, I like the logo of Chow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I think oh. Goons... Uh, this is going to be tough for Chow. <laughs> because Goons... Goons is going to capture this castle uh, if they actually push in, uh, you know, with their numbers. This is going to be dangerous for yep. for Chow. Because, you know, Chow is a small size guild. Uh, looking at their numbers, they're less than 10. Yep. I think only 6, 7 members for Chow. But again, um, regarding for the numbers, if they can manage to uh, sink in and drop specific um, skills on specific players, they can manage to take out a party or two uh, versus mm -hmm. uh, goons. So it's a matter of uh, execution on uh, on the on Chow side. Yep. I think they're preparing and... on this one. <laughs> yeah, they are slowly but surely, uh, you know, making sure they are on top of that. Uh, a platform because when you enter that i think it's surely going to be on the amp room yep. uh but right now mg um what are your thoughts about what you've been uh what we've been seeing for the for the first 30 minutes of our third session well i think uh earlier we've talked about before the stream right before the stream i think we talk about um we're gonna see fights yes we did see some fights um, regarding for point system, I think the pointing system will land on the last um, last 10 minutes or last 15 minutes of the mm -hmm. session. And I believe as well that last nightmare is going to hold that castle up till the end of this, um, you know, um, this two hour fight. And Dominari, same strategy plan maybe. They're going to have points. They want to secure the top one. Um, Bonnie Heist, as expected. I think they're just gonna go for fights. They're gonna mm -hmm. maybe if, if they have an alliance, maybe they're gonna um, secure their alliance points. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, and for goods and uh, the others, um, the movement out of this uh, from from the guild from different castles will be, you know, will be super predicted. So they need to um, move fast as fast as they um, they need to move fast and they need to hold it. On the last 15 mm -hmm. minutes to secure those sweet points in this uh, Warf Imperium session. Yeah. And uh, I think goons are holding... What castle is that? I think that's Virgil Castle yeah. earlier. Uh, uh, you know, because of the alliance right now, you know, uh, goons will not have a hard time in dealing with, other, with, with the other guilds that are uh, currently... Participating in War, War of Imperium right now, but we are seeing some medium sized and smaller sized guilds, you know, participating in War of Imperium. Uh, Last Nightmare, on the other hand, uh, what you've mentioned earlier, um, you know, is correct. I think that's what Last Nightmare is going to do for this session as well, MG. Yeah. Uh, because they only need two more points to secure that tier A reward. And in order for them to get two more points, is to perfectly defend Scarlet Palace. If they defend that, uh, for this session, they will get one point, which makes it nine. And for the next session, they just need to defend that. And uh, for a total of 10 points, they will get rewards and maximize the economy that they can get in that castle. Yep. And uh, maybe after the 10 points on the first session, they're going to go out an all-out uh, fight against uh, the Alliance, maybe. Mm -hmm. Right? So, who knows? But again, um, I, I just want to tackle a bit of um, about goons on what they're doing right now. I mm -hmm. think um, Goons is trying to hold this portal. Okay, they're not gonna break it because they want this guild, Chow, to stay on on this specific guild and not 
transition to another break of a, uh, of another castle. So mm-hmm. I think this is a good move um, from from their alliance. If they can secure, um, I forgot the term, hostage, the hostage strat that they can mm-hmm. do. If they can uh, manage to do a hostage strat on multiple castle, their alliance. Oh man, they're gonna steal the entire points in this uh, War of Imperium. Yeah, uh, I think they pushed in right now, so we are going to see maybe a uh, tough battle for Chao. So yeah, the numbers of goons right now is too much for uh, Chao to yep. handle. So uh, I think this castle will be given to goons right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is uh, again a dangerous battle for the smaller and the medium-sized guilds because uh, of the numbers of you know the and the alliances that has been um, you know formed uh, for the first two sessions of War of Imperium. Yes. So and uh, yeah, MG. Right now, um, you know, as we are still having an event for War of Imperium, let's actually talk about the other events that are ongoing yeah. as well here in the server. So we still have the 100 days event still up, you know, because it's been more than 100 days since ROGGH launched to celebrate the 100 day anniversary and to thank you all for being a part of the ROGGH journey. ROGGH has prepared a series of events that you adventurers can enjoy until July 7, 2022. So only five days to go. You know, and to find out more about the event, you can visit the website ro.genjoy.asia or join the ROGGH community Discord. The links can be found and it's in the description of the screen. Okay. Okay. And um, again, I think um, they're just gonna wait here. And um, I think they're just gonna react on, on what guilds are gonna push on this one. Last night, we maybe uh, scattered multiple scouts around um, the four realms. Mm-hmm. So, let's see. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think Scarlet Palace, again, last night, Mary isn't going to uh, go anywhere. They are just going to defend that castle. Maybe Cre- Kremlin has castle has a, you know, a battle ongoing right now. Maybe Money Heist is going to push that castle. No, let's so, yeah. Uh, because earlier they actually pushed that castle when um, nonsense was defending. So if uh, they actually push that, maybe something will happen. Um, because you know uh, the medium-sized guilds are you know going to have a hard time mm-hmm. if the that big alliance pushes in or yeah. uh, uh, tries to dominate you know the the War of Imperium session for now. Yeah, and. One of the guilds that I really like in this uh, in our server is Money Heist. They actually, uh, you know, they're actually showing everyone that uh, they are a fight guild that they can actually mm-hmm. take any guilds in front of them, despite of the numbers that they have. Um, skill execution is their coordination, timing as well, and the patience coming out from Money Heist is actually, should I say, uh, one of the one of the good girls right now or one of the best girls right now in terms of fights uh you know not really the best right now because they yeah. are losing those battles they are losing their battles uh you know but uh, when it comes to the numbers i think dominari has yeah, the advantage dominari, yes. um last nightmare has uh, decent numbers as well but not as much as dominari because i think dominari has two guilds Last Nightmare only has one. But because of the defense strategy of Last Nightmare and the, because of that portal death that they've been doing in Scarlet Palace, which it makes it harder for the other guild to push in that uh, that castle. Yep. But uh, then again, you know, uh, this is all... This all depends on uh, what your objective is for War of Imperium. If you are planning to go for the rewards of course you need to maximize on the points if you are you know uh, keen on getting those uh, treasure treasure chest uh, loots mm-hmm. you need you want to secure those hot castles that are uh, being defended by the bigger guilds right now exactly yeah and uh, yeah currently um, Guns is here let's mm-hmm. uh, check inside mm-hmm. 
yeah, still the defense here of uh, of goons. And uh, what guild is that good night though? Uh, nonsense. So from nonsense. So nonsense is actually <laughs> doing a bit of damage here. So maybe yep. let's go in uh, along with the the players here in this castle. And uh, you know, MG, this is uh, really uh, a tough battle for the other guilds because yep. of the alliance that has been formed. Maybe in the, in the next session we'll be seeing uh, some uh, new alliances getting formed as well. Yes. And uh, right now, I think they are going to try and push this uh, this, this nonsense guild. They are going to try to push the, uh, push the defense of uh, this castle. So maybe we will be seeing some um, bloodbath later on. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you think they're going in now? Yep. Okay, this is uh, mm -hmm. Fratris. Fratris is uh, having a solid defense here. But mm -hmm. some of the nonsense are trying to push here. They need to react as fast as they can. Fratris taking a, um, taking a huge damage coming from that ranger. That ranger mm -hmm. managed to secure those multiple kills on the side of uh, Fratris. Fratris right now is trying to uh, survive on the rat of uh, Nonsense. And Nonsense is pushing and I think uh, Fratris um, is dead and uh, or should I say wiped out on this. Yeah, but they are going in because of that flag. Yeah, okay. Um, we what ha happened there was uh, because they had that land protector on the floor uh, it prevented them from casting that numa on uh, their area which uh, makes those arrow storms uh, you know hit um, hit the the defenders yes. really really perfectly because of uh, you know dragon's breath and uh, arrow storms will land mm -hmm. if you don't have that numa up for your uh, for your for your character so, you know, that that made it harder for Fratres to defend because yes. they don't have Warlocks casting on the floor there um, earlier for the at that portal. Yes. So, you know, Land Protector was casted uh, very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. It prevented the other... For, uh, it prevented the Warlocks of Fratres from casting any more floor skills to prevent the... to, to deal damage against the aggressors or attackers. Um, in this castle. Yes, and I think uh, some of the aggressors are trying to contest on this one. Um, aggressors, um, I mean, uh, Fratres right now is uh, trying to counter push on um, on Nonsense, but again, yeah. Nonsense managed to break this, but still, good try on the side of Fratres. Yes, well, you know, MG, I've been trying not to say aggressors because we uh, have yeah, a yeah. called aggressors, so I'm just calling them attackers right now. Yeah, I've been... Um, but you know this is um going to be um a different scenario a different situation right now for the third session of war of Imperium because of the huge alliance yeah. that has been formed right now um as what we saw earlier nonsense managed to uh, attack the defense of a fratres a uh, medium sized guild versus a medium sized guild a fair fight for these two guilds right there um, but you know, I think so, the other castles right now are getting occupied by different guilds. I saw a strip coming out earlier, but I don't know who got <laughs> strip right there. But uh, let's take a look at the other castles as well. MG, maybe Kremhild has few players roaming around. So, Virgil has been uh, changed ownerships. Oh, um, Finest. We have Finest still here. Finest is going to defend yep. this. Um, Finest um, didn't actually manage to secure a castle in the first <laughs> first two sessions of yep. War of Imperium, but they've been breaking a few castles here and there since the first session. So maybe they they want to shine here in the third session. That's why they have a few more members online. Yep. Um, compared to I think one member for the first two sessions, just a breaker, just a single breaker, just to try and you know get those points <laughs> in. Uh, just to get their name out. So maybe uh, if they manage to secure more members for their guild, they can secure more castles in the future. Yes, definitely. Again, this is not the uh, last uh, Warf Imperium that we have. We still have one more day. And uh, mm -hmm. definitely other guilds or the for new the event, guilds. Though. Yeah, for the event. One, yes, one, for, more, very, one, one more, more Warf Imperium for yep. the event. One more session for the and, event. And uh, for that, I think uh, our new guilds can still catch up for their, mm -hmm. uh, for their points and their prices as well. Yes. 
So right now, as we are taking a look at uh, other castles, so maybe we will be seeing other, other castles get occupied later on. But you know, as to what you've mentioned earlier, MG, uh, you know, we still have our free reset stat and skills here in ROGGH. Uh, to celebrate the Warf Imperium update, of course, ROGGH um, gave a gift to all the players, and you will all the players will be able to get unlimited, 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 unlimited. Stats oh. and skill reset at NPC Almighty located at the northern part of Jeffen till July 6, 2022. So only four days to go uh, for the unlimited stat reset, stat and skill reset. So better get your builds ready for War of Imperium. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is actually one of the most interesting guilds that I have actually followed. Um, Adonis. Mm -hmm. They have uh, they have more numbers now, and yep. compared to the other sessions that they have, I think they have like five or six ish members. But right now. I think they're more than six or seven now. So mm -hmm. really good um, step up here coming from the Adonis Guild. Yeah, I think they, they secured their numbers. They tried to uh, recruit more members from yep. for their guild now. Um, they they managed to secure a castle in the second, <coughs> uh, second session, session of War of yeah. Imperium. Uh, but in the first session of War of Imperium, maybe they just broke a castle and uh, they didn't secure one for the mm -hmm. for for that session, for but now in the second session of War of Imperium, uh, but uh, you know the, in the last session rather of War of Imperium, uh, you know they managed to secure a castle. Uh, maybe here in the third session they will, you know, secure two or three castles, maybe yep. or one or two castles, uh, depending on uh, what they can accomplish for this third session of War of Imperium here, here in ROGGH. Yes, I agree. Again. We have a very, very good catch-up mechanic here that we have uh, for GGH, right? Mm -hmm. So I think uh, the new players or, you know, for our viewers, I think this is the perfect time to, uh, you know, to jump in and compete. So you can see we have multiple guilds. We have some fight guilds. We have, uh, should I say, like a Zerg guild in, uh, in our mm -hmm. server. So definitely the fun here and the uh, pressure when it comes to Warp Imperium is up here and uh yeah i think um the viewers can actually register and uh, you know play and maybe find a new guild um mm -hmm. to join up for this uh, war film period yes and our ggh has been releasing you know quite a bit of events for uh, every now and then uh some level up events like the previous 100 yeah, percent boost that everyone everyone uh, managed I, to enjoy i think and, you know it gave them the boost that they need to get their desired level. I think they've been requesting it again and again. Um, mm -hmm. um, based on the last comments that uh, we had on the first uh, la last stream, they've been mm -hmm. requesting it um, again and again that they want to have that 100%. Um, I think um, they just want to... Uh, I think maybe they recruited more members. That's why they've been requesting it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, Huh. Yeah, well, uh, you know, 100% EXP boost will definitely help you in leveling a lot, mm -hmm. especially uh, because uh, if you if the XP boost, uh, because the the XP boost uh, affects your board quest as well. Yep. So if you if there's an XP boost in the server, um, you know, the XP you get from the board quest will actually, um, you know, be higher compared to you know the standard one times in the server. So, yep. yeah, definitely players are looking forward to XP events. And, uh, uh, you know, I think ROGGH is planning to maybe make a new level up or uh, mm -hmm. XP event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll mm -hmm. know, we'll know in the future. Yeah. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> speaking of uh, XP events, though, we do have a level up box. Um, active here in ROGGH, a new permanent feature. Uh, because upon a cr creating a new character, a new item, new user box will automatically appear in your inventory. Opening the box will grant you various consumables and equipment 
For every 10 levels achieved until level 90, you can open a new box and receive more items. To find out more about the feature, of course, you can visit the website ro.gnjoy.asia or join the ROGGH Discord. Yes. Uh, no, this is the 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 level up box. I was oh. talking about the level up box. Right now. So, uh, level up box feature. Uh, but, you know, the banner that is shown right now is the 100 days anniversary event. Again, that's th that event is still active, though. That event is still active. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah this, this is the level of box. This is the level there of box go. right there now. There you go. There you go. Right. right. So, yeah. Um, we are a little short of a, an R in of our current session right mm -hmm. now, MG. I think players right now or guilds right now are starting to maybe uh, strategize for the last hour of uh, this session. Maybe we will be seeing more fights or maybe we will be seeing more defenses coming from the guild. Again, I think Last Nightmare um, is go just going to try and hold Scarlet Palace or maybe they will have a few more members yes. uh, just roam around and break other castles like what they did in the first uh, two sessions of War of Imperium. Yes. Um, I think uh, Last Nightmare is aware now that Dominari, Dominari Strat is they're actually spreading out their members throughout the entire 20 castles. Um, mm -hmm. I think if they want to counter on that, they need to lessen the defense and put it on mo uh, on the on the offense as well to secure mm -hmm. those points on the last 5 minutes maybe or last 10 minutes. But again, it I'm not sure if the trade-off is, kind of, uh, is good there because if Dominari recognized that the defense of Last Nightmare has been, uh, you know, reduced to 50% or maybe on 60%, they can actually reset the castle of uh, Last Nightmare. So, mm -hmm. that's gonna be a tough decision or a tough call coming from the guild leader or the shot caller of uh, Last Nightmare. So, it's gonna be interesting um, to see what's the reaction and what's the uh, counter that's gonna happen here from, from the guilds that's uh, participating now. Yeah. Uh... I think uh, guilds are just uh, making sure to scout each and every other guild that are active right now. Uh, like what you said, MG, uh, you know, they've been trying to capitalize on the mistakes yep. of the other guilds. If they manage to make a single mistake like what you said, like last, last Nightmare, if they reduce their numbers in that <laughs> castle, um, I think... Uh, Dominari will capitalize on that and maybe push in. Yep. But you know, there are going to be still members in that uh, members of Last Nightmare in that castle. So maybe they are going to be pre prepared and mm -hmm. set up their defenses when they uh, flag warp later on. Yes. But then again, we don't know what will happen. We still have an R to go for this third session of War of Imperium. Yes, I agree, James. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, Z Borg YT channel. What the guild name? Uh, breaking now, uh, this Imperium. Again, we we are seeing a lot of new guilds stepping up on this War of mm -hmm. Imperium. So, I think uh, on the fourth one, maybe we can get a, another or, you know, maybe a brand new guild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, I didn't see Aggressor right now. Um, because I think they are still, um, they, they managed to get around a, a point in the first session. They didn't get a point in the, uh, the second session. Uh, they didn't show themselves here in right for right now. I didn't see their guild anywhere. So maybe in the, uh, the final hours or the final minutes yeah. of Port of Empire, maybe they will show themselves and uh, attack a castle. Uh, but you know it's still too hard to say uh, it's still too early to say what will happen for the next hour or the for the last remaining hour of war of this session yes i agree so maybe they're just saving their supplies maybe or their resources you know mm -hmm. because again uh we have a lot of guilds available right now um as you can see multiple def um de defense coming out from multiple guilds on each every castle that we uh you know, bin. So I think uh, you're just saving right now. And the most important R here, or the most important time here, is the last 15 minutes 
mm-hmm. of of war imperium war for imperium so i think yes. they're just gonna react on that yes and uh you know mg i want to talk about the difference of uh, what's happening right now compared to the first two sessions so let's talk about the first session first uh mm-hmm. mg in the first session, we've been seeing guilds test the waters. Yep. They are testing each other, making uh, sure that um, you know they have enough manpower to deal with the other guilds, like what we've seen, uh, you know, from Dominary and Last Nightmare. Yes. Uh, I think they just increased their numbers more. Yep. And, um, you know, when the uh, after the end of every session, um, you know, the first session. Guilds are just testing the waters. Uh, they're just capturing every other castle available. Yeah. Uh, not really defending that much for the first few minutes of the first session. Uh, but uh, when that last R in the first session hit, uh, you know, we saw guilds defending their own respective castles. Like last nightmare, for the last hour uh, of the first session, they defended Scarlet Palace. Yep. Um, so maybe, uh, you know, uh, they plan <laughs> to get the treasure chest loots here uh, in Scarlet Palace, so that's why they are defending that uh, castle perfectly. Of course, uh, like what I've mentioned earlier, the economy yes. for uh, that castle, and you know, the, for the second session, um, they still defended that castle for last nightmare, while the other guilds are still testing the waters to deal with the other guilds again. Money heist, we saw them, um, you know, uh go on the offensive and yes. the defensive at the same time uh, in the last session uh they tried to deal with nonsense mm-hmm. and uh i think that was arsenal yes in the second session so they tried to battle two guilds uh at the sec- sec- second session but right now on the third session again I think they are still planning to go for that GVG action. Maybe try and secure a castle this time. Because, you know, the benefits that you can receive from securing a castle in um, War of Imperium are huge. Because, again, aside from the treasure chest loots, you ha- you will have access to the guild dungeon, which uh, sometimes has monsters that aren't available in, you know, the regular maps that you will be seeing uh, roaming around. Yes. Um, definitely, uh, I agree. I highly agree on what's your um, your observation, James. Again, on the first session, we saw um, guilds testing the waters. Dominari forcing um, multiple GVGs on other guilds, trying to test the defense of other guilds as well. On, on the second section, they shifted their strategy on the pointing system. Right? So I think uh, they know that... Um, the pointing system or in the rewards is going to be huge for this entire four session. That's why, and that's a, for me, that's a good call coming out from their uh, guild leader or commander to shift over into a point uh, to a pointing system strat, right? And again, last nightmare um, from pointing system, I think they're just focusing what uh, like what you said on the economy now, and mm-hmm. if they can actually benefit more. Um, you know, if they're going to get the rewards plus the economy, that's going to be a, a win-win for them. So I think that's a yes. good call on their side. Um, speaking of other guilds as well, Money Heist, again, if they need to step up their game um, regarding their uh, points. But again, mm-hmm. on the GVG side, um, I can't say no more on them. They're very good on that. But again, they need to get those rewards to take advantage uh, to help their new members maybe or recruit more using those... Um, uh, supplies and yes. and for the other guilds I think they still have the same plan they just want to take points and they just want to move around and try to ninja cap multiple points out of the hands of the defenders of uh, of, of this guild yes and uh, you know the difference right now for the second and third session we've been seeing some smaller guilds defend their own respective yeah. castles so, you know, it's a good thing as well because, you know, we've been seeing more guilds step up and more players join uh, our War of Imperium session. And uh, we are seeing, you know, guilds ally with one another to yep. maybe deal with the bigger guilds um, that are present uh, in the in the server. Yes. Um, but we are just going to see some 
uh, scouts here and there from last nightmare while money heist is defending this castle while they are defending this mg let's take a look at the other castles right now um i saw i think nemesis that was nemesis earlier the one with the red emblem defending uh a castle that's nemesis armada mm -hmm. so i think they are defending somewhere in the pine castle um scarlet palace again is w well defended by <laughs> Last Nightmare. Yeah. Uh, Hohenschwang Go. Maybe let's try, try and take a look at that. Valkyrie Realm. Uh, maybe Kremhild has people in it as well right now. So, be, uh, not check. really sure <clears throat> as we need to check what's happening at the different castles here and in, uh, in our third session of Power of Imperium. Yep. Um, I just want to comment uh, something about the uh, movement of the guilds. Actually, it's really nice that uh, we've been seeing multiple guilds moving around uh, out of the castle and not staying there for too long, right? Um, because if they're just gonna stay there for like more than like 10 minutes to 15 minutes, I think they're just wasting their time and, uh, you know, um, instead of getting multiple points, they're just gonna be sitting on one point on that one. So, I think the guilds right now are pretty aware about the pointing system and it's mm -hmm. really nice to see that um, they're very, um, very strategized when it comes to capping multiple points. So, kudos to all the guilds that's uh, participating right now. Yes. And, uh, you know, MG, let's take a look at Kremhild Castle or Valkyrie 1. Mm -hmm. I saw Dominari earlier right here, but uh, they're gone now. <laughs> <laughs> and they were in the entrance <laughs> earlier, but I can't see them anymore. Yeah. Maybe they shifted to a different castle or maybe they are going to break this castle yep. and take it as their own. Uh, but you know, we are just going to follow different guilds right now for this session. Maybe check out what they are doing, but yep. uh, because of uh, right now, oh, so Dominar shifted here in Virgil yes. Castle, so they are going to push here. I think Money Heist is the one defending this castle right now. Uh, they are going to push along with Jag, right? <laughs> or with just a game. Yep, um, the red Dominari, I haven't been seeing much of them lately. Maybe they are defending their own castle yeah or maybe not okay but uh this dominari led by led by uh i think this is by Sh shuya yep yeah this is by shuya the, the the pink one yep um you know they are going to try and push this virgil castle yes and i just want to point out james as well um i, I we've been seeing last nightmare doing uh some ninja push on the one uh on the last on uh, last one hour mark for this war of imperium as you can see earlier we saw multiple last nightmare moving now moving around uh the realms right so but again for this castle sadly they have dominari on their way so most of the scouts of uh last nightmare got wiped here and i think uh, that's a good recognition as well on the uh, on the side of last nightmare if they saw a uh, a castle that's empty without any citations, they're gonna break it, mm -hmm. right? Because if yes. they break it, definitely Dominari or allied guilds of Dominari will go there and break it as well to prevent last nightmare on gaining points for this session. Mm -hmm. But you know, let's take a look inside right now, MG. Uh, maybe see. Let's uh, try and see what happened right now at the push of uh, Dominari. Maybe they are going to form there <laughs> or they are going to stack up yep. near the portal here in the second uh, second portal here in the in castle rather. Um, but right now, you know, this is going to be a tough battle for Money Heist because uh, like what I've said, the numbers game is going to be... Um, a, oh. a huge advantage oh for Dominari as they are going to push right now. Let's try and take a look at what's happening inside as uh, Dominari is going to try and push. Land Protector has been casted wow. briefly. But right now, we are seeing nice. the push of Dominari right now coming from uh, these uh, guilds. And we can see damages coming out from Money Heist and Dominari. Uh, Money Heist is just making sure to secure the people here it's in the entrance while well, other members of Dominari are going to try and push in. Dominari is having a hard time in pushing wow. as they are just prior uh just they prioritized 
into moving in closer and not actually casting those skills against Money Heist. Right wow. Now. So what a good defense coming from Money Heist. But, you know, because of that land protector that was casted, yep. uh, I think this is from the, what do you call this? Uh, from Psychophobia. Psychophobia. From Money Heist. Uh, land protector has been casted to prevent I wow. think, the other skills or the, that Numa from getting casted on the floor um, for for uh, for Dominari. But uh, you know what a good defense coming from Money Heist yes, managed to prevent the attack from the, the numbers of uh, Dominari. Yeah, but, uh, you know, let's there. not dwell on this uh, defense any longer, MG, as uh, we are going to talk, take a okay. look at what's happening. So, last two. nightmare. La That's round two, right round two, let's go. Again, we mm -hmm. saw Psychophobia there doing the most important job there to uh, put a land protector on the enemy side, preventing them to cast uh, a counter spell on their end. And again, um, good initiation there, good patience there coming from, uh, from Money Heist. They didn't panic. They're very composed there. They trust uh, the trust and confidence of their guild misses there. And right now, as we can see, um, we have a bit of clash here. Last night, we're clashing with Dominari. I think Dominari is just want to say that, okay, you need to step back, guys. We got this uh, on this push. So last night, Mayor, I think they're out of the scene now. And uh, Dominari is going for the round two for this push. So let's see if they can uh, get this or Money Heist is going to get the 2-0 here for the defense. So let's go ahead and check. Yes. Um, and I agree with what you said earlier, MG. Uh, because when Dominari pushed in, Money Heist was, you know, just composed. Uh, they didn't panic. They yes. just managed to defend that, uh, you know, that uh, castle or that entrance of that portal perfectly. Because, you know, um, when you see those numbers, sometimes you will panic. Yes. Sometimes yes. you will panic and you will Make say, oh, what's happening? What's happening? There are a lot of people right here. They are going to attack me. They are going to push our defense. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? But, you know, Money Heist stayed composed. Uh, they managed to get their defenses up. Uh, they didn't panic. They didn't scatter around. Um, for those who actually managed to, you know, get closer to yep. the casters, to the to the, to the the Rangers and yes, to the back uh, lane. Knights back. that are yep. casting to the back lane, um, they have... Um, you know, Suras and some other members. I think the Suras but, managed to secure yeah. those uh, uh, those enemies. Yes, I agree. Yeah, so, you know, they are just uh, prepared for the defense right here. But, you know, Dominari is just going to try and secure and uh, prevent Money Heist from getting more members in to defend that yep. portal. Uh, because they are defending, they are just holding that um, flag warp right there for Money Heist. But, you know, this is going to be... Uh, Another push coming from Dominari. Again, the numbers game coming from yes. Dominari. And then we are going to see the red Dominari push in oh. along with... Uh, oh, this is going to be different right now. What's... Who casted that Dragon Breath? Uh, I don't know. I, I think that's just a shift flick for Dominari. Yeah. Though. I, don't, I think they didn't cast that uh, against their own members. I, anyway... Uh, we are going to see the red Dominari, um, Dominari led by Delinquent and Dominari led by Shuya to actually push this uh, castle, this Virgil castle that is being defended by Money Heist. So, you know, let's see what we, what happens here because, you know, more numbers are going to push in, more players, yep. and uh, this is going to be a tough battle for the defenders. Yes, and I just want to give that uh, kudos to Psychophobia. He's very composed on that uh, choke area. He didn't panic. He knows who's the, uh, he knows what to uh, you know to cast during that times, and uh, hopefully he can uh, you know do that um, performance again on the second round. But again, this is gonna be a different story. We have the red dominari here um, merging with the purple one, so it means. They're going to have more firepower, more um, more footies or more tanks coming in from this uh, from this choke point. So let's see if Manny Heist can, uh, perform, can perform again on, on this. Oh my, this yes. numbers is really uh, yeah. a lot. Yeah, well, three guilds right here, a few members from just the game. 
uh, and Dominari. Uh, we know uh, this is going to be a huge push coming from Dominari. They really want to break this castle. Yes. Though. They really want to break this castle. So uh, a dangerous push coming from uh, Dominari right here. But we can see some reverberations on the ground. Uh, Dominari just not really pushing um, just yet. Yes. Making sure they have the numbers right. Land Protector has been casted Magnetic Earth as yep. well. Um, but you can see here, I think that Psychophobia, Psychophobia got uh, taken out. Dominari just uh, trying to push here. But we can see here that those Dragon, Dragon Breath. Water Breaths getting casted on the floor for Dominari. And uh, uh, Money Heist, the defense of Money Heist is scattered right now. Uh, Dominari managed to take down the defenses of Money Heist. And because of that, because of the composure of um, uh, Dominari, they didn't push with full numbers. Yep. Again, they didn't push with full numbers for Dominari. They um, they first pushed with uh, their frontliners. Yep. For their tankers and uh, the one who can maybe deal a bit of damage against uh, the back lane. Then when the back lane got reduced, or that uh, psychophobia or that sorcerer or that uh, sorcerer went down from money heist. That's when the other members of Dominari pushed in. And uh, because of the players from Dominari, or the good members of Dominari just holding that portal, uh, you know, it prevented the members from of Money Heist from going back yes. to their defense. But, so what a good push coming from Dominari. Uh, and they managed to take that Virgil Castle. Yep, yep. Good patience there coming from uh, Dominari. But still, kudos to uh, Money Heist for at least um, sustaining um, that fight as well. I mm -hmm. mean, facing a, a massive numbers is not easy, but on the first round, they managed to take it. But again, Dominari showed them that we have the numbers, we're gonna take this castle, and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, you know, the numbers game is really different. If you have the numbers, you have the advantage, that's what I can say, yeah. Uh, but you know, n numbers don't don't necessarily mean that you are um, that you are better in the offensive that just means you have more yeah. manpower yep uh, you know but the de a good defense and a, a good offense you know uh, will actually take you mm -hmm. to a better to a better place if I can say <laughs> it that way yeah. Um, but you know the numbers also has the advantage because you have more manpower you have more members just uh uh, taking in soaking up more damage and dealing up more damage um, for the whole guild. Yeah, and um, I think uh, also Psychophobia got slayed on the early uh, early part, so maybe that's why they don't have that um, counter initiate right away versus the Dominari push. But again, the recognition again from Dominari that they need to take down that Sork right away is on point. So once they uh, took that um, sorcerer away on the hands of um, Money Heist, they immediately pushed without any hesitation. They, uh, you know, immediately went back to the uh, back lane. They have few flankers, immediately went to the back lane. And some of the players are just gonna, you know, cast AoE's head on head versus those uh, back lane players versus Money Heights. And it resulted into a win. So uh, again, good recognition here from Dominari and uh, well-deserved break there from their guild yeah and the uh, you know the, the red red ember the red dominari helped with the push in the that second yes. time around uh but right now mg let's take a look at the other castles um maybe stuff are happening at different areas as well as we only have 45 around 43 minutes left yep. for this third session of war imperium maybe you know uh, Guilds are scattering their players all around to capture more castles. Um, defenses are going to get um, heavy for the last 30 minutes of the yeah, session, I, I think. So maybe, uh, you know, guilds are just going to perform and better yet capture the castles that they want to defend um, at the end of the session. Okay, I think money is transferred to uh, Alden now, so... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, because this is if they want to capture Virgil, uh, they need to deal with the def defense of Dominari. Yep. 
And the defense of Dominari at that castle is massive. Yes. Again, massive. Two guilds or three guilds defending that castle. A small guild like uh, for just a um, just a game, mm-hmm. and uh, two two Dominari guilds defending that castle. A hard de- a defense for Dominari, and going, it's it's going to be a tough push yep. for the guilds who want to take that castle. But then again, you know, um, like what I said earlier, if you manage to strategize right and uh, get your maybe a good offense up to deal with the uh, uh, a specific de- a specific mm-hmm. defense strategy maybe you can uh, deal heavy or massive damage against yep. other opposing kills but right now as what we are seeing mg the numbers of last night here in this castle um you know dwindled and uh they are going to push different castles for the time being maybe later on you yep. are going to be seeing last night we defend this castle uh, again as we are going to see maybe Dominari push this castle yes. later on. I'm not sure. Yes, uh, and this is expected from uh, last night here because they recognize that Dominari is tied with them regarding for the point system and if they want to overtake, they need to go back on their first strat on their on the first day that, uh, that they uh, executed that they need to spread out and get multiple castles and uh, they need to bag it, you know, uh, at the end of the Warframe period in order for them to uh, take the lead. Because um, as you can see right now, it's not very easy to uh, to ninja cap a uh, certain castle because we have we or they are facing a uh, into uh, they're facing a big alliance right now, and those ally or that alliance has multiple kills defending um, specific castles, and definitely if last nightmare is gonna push on one specific um castle it will be uh, reported throughout the entire alliance and they can actually react and defend or even steal this castle that we have right now the scarlet palace out of the hands of last nightmare so it's gonna be a tough fight or it's gonna be a tough um call here on the side of last nightmare yes definitely and uh you know, uh, so we are nearing the 40 minute mark. I think we are at the 40 minute mark right now of Warf Imperium. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, guilds are going to settle down. Um, we are going to see a lot of battle later on. Money Heist is still in trouble as we we see guilds just trying to, um, you know, attack them. Exactly. <laughs> they are just uh, they are just trying to attack Money Heist right now. But last nightmare still has their, their defenses up. Um, we've yet to see Arsenal uh, capture more castles for the time being. Maybe they are defending a castle uh, right now, so that's why they are not attacking. Uh, some members of Last Nightmare here in Hohenschwango, maybe they are just going to try and scout this castle right now. But uh, speaking of scouting, um, MG, we do have a new Razer Gold promotion right now for the month of July. Because, you know, from July 1 to July 31, 2022, at around at exactly 11.59 PM GMT plus 8, you know, re- you can recharge your GN Joy account via Razer Gold Wallet and get some in-game items, such as Mystic Powders, Tears Blessing, Unlimited Flywing Box, Battle Manual, Job Manual, and analyze eye uh, lower for free. I think this is the costume analyze eye. Yeah. Um, you know, and the players will receive five percent bonus razor gold with a minimum minimum recharge while stocks last. Uh, there is also a st- top spender promotion ongoing still. Uh, the top spender will receive a razor huntsman v2 clicking optical switch. Second and third top spender will receive a black shark v2. Nice. And the fourth to tenth top spender will receive a ten dollar razor gold voucher. Uh, of course, if you know want to know more information about the promotion, you can visit the website ro.genjoy.asia or join the ROGGH Discord. Links can be found in the description of the stream. There you go. All right. So um, earlier, uh, James, I think uh, Money Heist is defending this. Uh, last night, we tried to push. But mm-hmm. again, uh, Money Heist has the numbers here. Currently, they're defending now. But I noticed Money Heist, uh, their numbers decreased as well on this uh, last part of mm-hmm. the... Uh, Warframe Pyramid. Maybe they're scouting now or 
I'm not sure, but their numbers are decreasing here. Uh, maybe they are just going to st try and secure more yeah, castles yeah. this time. Yeah. Uh, because like what I've said earlier, they are not eligible to get that tier A or tier B rewards anymore because they didn't manage to secure a castle in the second session. Yep. But they are still maybe planning to get more uh, perks for yep. castle holders like the treasure chest and access to guild dungeons. That's why they want to secure more castles. But you know, uh, right now, as uh, we see guilds target some money heist because they are always attacking yeah. the, the castle where money heist is. I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence that that is happening because um, the castles that money heist is taking are hot ca castles like yes. uh, Virgil, Hohen Chuang Go. Uh, maybe we will see a guild push in Hohen later on. Yep. But uh, Krem Hild has been taken by Arsenal as we saw in the feed. So let's try and take a look at Kremhild right now. This is a uh, Valkyrie one. And same goes with uh, Bretonia. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Adonis. Mm. Adonis actually. Yeah. Um, few members. Um, maybe less than ten still for Adonis. Uh, participating in War of Imperium right now, but still, you know, uh, they managed to secure a castle in the last session. So maybe this session they will be able to get a castle as well, but. We've yet to know. Yes. It's so, um, you know, we have 20 castle. So basically, all they need to do is just get those information uh, which mm -hmm. guilds are attacking a uh, specific castle. And from there, they can use that information and react from it, right? Mm -hmm. So they just need to do scouting and, uh, and move and take the uh, yes. Imperium. And uh, you know, nonsense is defending uh Swan Hill. This is a uh, Valkyrie, too, as well. So maybe they are just going to try and hold this castle later to uh, you know, to secure a castle for this session. Yep, and uh, you know, I'm doing my own scouting as well, <laughs> MG, so <Yeah. laughs> we can actually take a look at uh, what's happening right now from uh, different perspectives. But you know, Fratres uh, has been really quiet, it just Securing castles here and there, not really taking those big fights, just um, trying to get uh, different castles to maybe get the rewards for yes. the event. Because they know for a fact that Dominaris numbers is is really up right now, or meaning mm -hmm. they have uh, Dominaris has more numbers right now. Same goes with Last Nightmare, and I think uh, Nonsense as well has uh, has a good numbers tonight. And um, mm -hmm. I think this is the perfect uh, call for like uh, a medium or small guilds to just roam around and uh, take um, take imperiums from time to time, or try to reset mm -hmm. the imperium from time to time. Because again, if they if they want to uh, if they want to keep those rotations up and running, they need to move um, as fast as they take, as fast as they can, and maybe hold it on the last three minutes, or maybe hold it on the last five minute mark of our mm -hmm. timer. Yes. And still, you know, um, I think uh, the castle that last nightmare is defending is still well defended right now. Uh, I'm not seeing people, you know, try and capture it because, uh, again, the defense of last nightmare is going to be tough to deal with. They are defending the entrance of that castle. They can still flag warp to defend that next area. Yes. So, this is going to be a different defense for Last Nightmare. Of course, kills don't want to deal with um, that guild because of the defense that they have currently on yes. their castle. But, you know, we are seeing guilds just defend their own respective castles. Um, in Swan Hill, I think that's nonsense. Uh, goons here in uh, Pine Castle. Uh, and the uh, Money Heist maybe try and conquering different castles as well. Uh, Arsenal securing their own castle yep. um, as well as Fratres, you know, just fairly quiet, um, just defending their own spots as well. Yes. Um, and to be fair, I'm very excited to see if there's going to be a reaction from Dominari and the rest of the alliance of, mm -hmm. uh, of, of that if Last Nightmare is going to move out. Right? Because the question mm -hmm. there, are they going to... are are they going to contest the castle of Last Nightmare? Or are they going to let... Um, 
Last Nightmare, Roam Around, and Capture Castles. And, uh, you know, on on what they did on the last session, Domelari just stayed in, in one castle and leave on one party there and defend it. Maybe that's going to be the strategy or maybe they're going to reset it. Because once they uh, push on the Last Nightmare's um, castle, again, we're talking about not only one, but two or even three guilds will contest that um, mm. that castle. And that will leave the other um, castles open for uh, open for other um, guilds that we have yes. here in the uh, session. But, you know, I gotta counter what you said earlier, though. Delinquent mm-hmm. or uh, Dominari led by Delinquent did a good job in the last session, though, yep. MG. Uh, because in the last session, they managed to secure five points. Uh, mm-hmm. Compared to last ma- not nightmare, although they got three points, they defended Scarlet Palace for I think around an hour, more than an more than maybe an for hour. the whole two session. Yep. For the whole session, they defended Scarlet Palace for uh, in this in the last session. Uh, but you know, delinquent uh, uh, the dominary led by delinquent uh, managed to get five points in the last session. Maybe in this session, uh, they are planning to you know increase their points get more mm-hmm. castles this time but they can actually um you know uh play like last nightmare for yep. now because they only need to secure one castle in order for them to uh, be eligible to get that tier a or tier b reward yes um you know they don't need that much points but they if they want to secure more castles if they want to deny other guilds from getting the rewards. They need to ca- oh. uh, capture, conquer more castles that time. Speaking of uh, contesting, I think uh, Dominari managed to push um, on Scarlet Palace now. Uh, last night, we're trying to uh, recover from that um, push coming from Dominari. But we saw a few players from um, uh, just a game pushing now. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, maybe that the, the defense of last nightmare got scattered uh, for a bit right there. But they are going to check uh, inside the castle if uh, you know a few of our, few players manage to push in mm-hmm. uh, and uh, you know scatter the defense of last nightmare right there. That's why they have those scooters. They have some rude knights scouting around uh, to make sure no breakers are inside the castle. If one breaker is uh, you know inside. Yep. And the manage to break the Imperium later on. This will be a huge hit for exactly. uh, Last Nightmare. I think we have. Uh, I think uh, Last Nightmare has um, multiple scouts inside now in their castle, making sure that no one is uh, trying to uh, break that Imperium. Yes, uh, as we Dominari have is a, a few members here. of Dominari. Though. Yep. Yeah, a few members of uh, Dominari. Uh, you know, inside the castle. I think Last Nightmare uh, still has a defense inside. Yep. Uh, but, you know, uh, some reverberation on the floor. Of course, Dominari members in. Uh, let's see that third portal. They're just walking in, though. They're just walking in. So, it's actually, oh. this is held by Dominari right now, but they didn't capture it. So, they are just uh, taking this Imperium hostage, though. Yep. So this is going to be a huge blow for Last Nightmare because uh, earlier we, we've uh, talked about how uh, the defense of Last Nightmare is going to be um, a thing because if they if they uh, pushed out some of their mem- uh, pushed out some of their members, they won't be able to secure or, or uh, defend this castle against the numbers of yep. Dominari. So you know your prediction was correct right there, MG. Uh, Dominari is going to. Um, you know, capitalize on the situation yes. and uh, try and take down the Scarlet Palace. But if Dominari is taking this castle hostage right now, um, when Last Nightmare is nearing that Imperium, again, that Imperium cannot be healed by Sanctuary or any other means. So that's why this is going to be hard for Last Nightmare because, you know, I think uh, Dominari is already hitting that Imperium to make sure no one or they can break it immediately when yes. uh, they need to. Speaking of aggressor, uh, Climb Hill Castle managed to. Uh, um, it's actually captured by aggressor now. So mm-hmm. aggressor is present. It's just uh, they're very. Uh, they have this fast transition 
on moving uh, on moving on multiple castles. Mm-hmm. But right now we are going to see last nightmare stack up. Of course, they can use that flag warp to, um, you know, be closer to this portal. And uh, if Dominar yep. is uh, taking this castle hostage, uh, you know, they cannot recuperate their numbers when um, they need to because they need to walk from the entrance yep. later on. And uh, but right now we are seeing a solid defense coming from Dominari. They might break this castle uh, later on. Or yes. maybe they managed to break in a little bit earlier than what we saw. Yep. Uh, but you know this is going to be a tough battle coming uh, for, for last nightmare, but because of the numbers of Dominari. Okay, this is gonna be a tough call on the side of uh, last nightmare. If they're gonna force in and defend this again, they will need multiple uh, multiple push here to break Dominari's defense, right? And again, mm -hmm. uh, we only have like uh, 26 minutes, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. We only have like 26 minutes. So they need to decide either are they going to def uh, defend this or are they going to go for multiple caps now? Right? So, yeah. uh, Well, if they are taking care of the economy of the ca this castle, uh, it's better for them to defend yep. this uh, castle. Maybe try their luck into actually conquering this castle back. But, you know, uh, what's happening right now is... Uh, Last night, last nightmare is not capitalizing on the fact that they can actually push in um, yep. the the castle uh, very very quickly because they actually they can actually recuperate their numbers very very quickly because they own this castle. Yes. Um, but last nightmare, uh, so what we are seeing right now, they are just uh, trying to stack up their numbers. Yep. Of course, I think Dominari is just holding the entrance of this castle. Maybe uh, that's why last nightmare is having a hard time into. Uh, entering this castle. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I think this is a flag warp, right? Uh, I think... Yeah, I think Dominari managed did, to... Did Dominari, did yeah. Dominari already capture it? Yeah, I think uh, Dominari is maximizing, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, they're maybe using I the think this is already held by Dominari, though. Yes. So, if Dominari already captured this castle, so I, it just didn't appear in my feet yeah so, uh yeah so i think dominaria already has this castle uh, up yeah. and running so last nightmare is going to try and secure this castle for them maybe because of the economy maybe because of the drops that's why they are uh preparing to go in for that push uh but right now you know the numbers of dominari is going to be tough to deal with last nightmare um is just trying to stack up their numbers here and uh, defend the flag warp yep. to make sure no no one from Dominari is going to be able to enter very very quickly right here. Okay, um, it's actually good as well that uh, la some of the last night where is holding Domin uh, the Dominari red here inside the castle. Again, the Dominari red is currently inside um, the pre-M defending this castle. That means. Um, last nightmare has the advantage to uh, recapture what Dominaris, uh, Dominaris Castle outside of Payon and um, yeah, outside of Payon, and they can actually take uh, take the lead in terms of points. But then again, Alliance will interfere there. Their uh, purple guild as well will actually uh, jump in and maybe help the red Dominari defend to defend their points as well so it's gonna be um a pretty hard call here coming from the guild leader of last night here are they gonna go for a multiple gap or they just want to take their castle back so that's gonna be the decision that they're gonna face for this war of imperium mm -hmm. uh I, I think last nightmare is just preparing to take this castle back mm -hmm. uh, if they don't manage to if they didn't manage to, um, if they don't uh, get this castle, uh, maybe they are going to try a different castles, of course, to for them to secure the the the, the rewards for the event. But uh, I I see some members of Last Nightmare still in the entrance just defending this. So maybe this is going to be um, a two two party push or a two uh, two two wave push. No. Coming from Last Nightmare, uh, some members of uh, Last Nightmare just defending the entrance and um, last the 
other members of Last Nightmare just going in and try to secure uh, the uh, and attack the defense of yes. Dominari. But uh, then again, uh, MG, if Last Nightmare doesn't have enough members to deal with Dominari, yep. uh, it's going to be tough for Last Nightmare at that scenario. Because again, Dominari has the advantage because they have the castle. They have that flag warp. Uh, they have the advantage. They can ha- they can cast that Loki. But uh, actually, Domina- last nightmare yep. managed to yeah, actually, take yeah. down Domina right there. So you didn't actually see what happened. But last nightmare actually pushed in, and then maybe uh, Dominari uh, the, the, the the defense of Dominari fell down at that uh, point. Uh, maybe uh, Mon- Mandragora Howling got casted, and maybe Dragon's Breath, and uh, a lot of skills got. Uh, uh, cast it against the members of Dominari. That's why you know no one was defending that choke point. <laughs> yes, I agree. And um, mm-hmm. th- it's actually a good thing that uh, Dominari actually took the Imperium out of the hands of Last Nightmare. There, um, it's a matter of decision now on their guild leader on the side of Last mm-hmm. Nightmare on what strategy are they gonna pull off on this one. Are they gonna yeah. go for a massive point uh, point strat? Or are just or are they gonna push over and you know uh, clash Dominari mm-hmm. on this uh, session? Yeah, well, uh, I think what happened right there, uh, it just, it's just a guess though. Yeah, I think Dominari is just going to maybe give this castle away or give that castle away. They just tried to test the defense of Last Nightmare right there. Uh, like what you've mentioned earlier, MG. Maybe they are just trying to make sure that Last Nightmare doesn't go anywhere. Yep. Yeah. Maybe they're just uh they just want last nightmare to stick to that castle. If they want that castle, just stay there, don't go anywhere else. Yes. Because if you <laughs> if you you know reduce your defense, we're, we're we are going to capitalize and deal enough yep. damage and target your castle. Yes. So and... I think Dominari just retreated right there. We don't know what happened for sure. Because uh, you know, um I think for a, a wave uh that small, is it enough to deal with the defense of Dominari earlier? Yes, and like we—that's just a guess, though. That's just a guess. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had on that one, and like I mentioned earlier, once uh, that the uh, enemy of Last Nightmare recognized that their numbers is decreasing on their main defense, they the guilds that's scouting there, especially the alliance that we're talking about earlier, can actually uh, you know can make a call that okay, Last Nightmare has only like thirty percent or forty percent of their defense right now. We can actually push and clash them. We can uh, reset their economy on this one. I think that's uh, that. What happened on on the side of uh, Dominar? They have mm-hmm. the recognition. They they their scout is up and running um, on multiple guilds. They know what guilds are holding uh, specific castles, especially with their the numbers of their uh, guild plus the alliances. And yes. uh, I think they have the communication and. I think that went well on their side. So, kudos to uh, Dominari and their alliance. Very, very well executed and uh, mm-hmm. good communications on that one. Yes. And I think, um, you know, Alde 4 is getting defended by goons as well as I think this is um, Sacred Palace, Pion Castle 2 as well. So they are just going to be defended by goons. Uh, Arsenal is defending their own castle as well. I think that's a Britannia castle, as uh, uh, what I saw earlier. Um, you know, Kilon side still defending their own castle. Um, you know, guilds are just starting to defend their own castles, of course, to secure a uh, spot for them in the guild dungeon and maybe uh, you know to try their luck into getting a uh, decent loot and uh, those treasure chests that will. Uh, pop out yes. in the treasure room of the, every castle. Mm. Yes, I agree. So, I think uh, the guilds are on the move now. That's why mm-hmm. um, I think uh, everyone is kind of scattered right now. Speaking of Arsenal, mm-hmm. Arsenal is defending this uh, uh, this castle now. Uh, yes. We still have like 18 minutes on our timer. So, sooner or later, we're going to see multiple uh, parties moving on different castles. So we're yes. going to see uh, a medium-sized fight, maybe. And mm-hmm. I'm pretty excited on on Money Heist at the same time, Arsenal. Are we going to see a part two of that fight on the last minute? Or Money Heist is going to, you know, deci- will decide to, you know, we're just going to go for points. We're just going to get the rewards for this time. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I I think our guilds mostly are going to secure castles for the time being. Not really go for those uh, GVG fights for now because of course, if you want to get the better of every Warf Bear session, uh, securing a castle will do a lot for your guild. Um, because you, again, you will have access to guild dungeons. Dun- dungeons. Yep. You can uh, break those treasure chests in uh, each castle treasure room that you can get specific loots from. Um, but you know, um, I think for the time being, for the last few minutes of our War Imperium session, guilds are just going to try and defend their own respective castles. Speaking of guilds, this is a brand new guild in my eyes. Optus Day. Opus eh, Day, yeah. Opus, Opus Day, yeah. Day actually, um, you know, they managed to secure a castle in the first session. They and, were present in the second session, but I think only a few members yeah, were few present. Members, and they, yeah. they, they, they didn't actually manage to secure in that second session. So maybe here in the third session, they are going to be able to, um, you know, secure their own spot yep. for, uh, you know, in uh, in here in this session's War of Imperium. Um, but you know uh, it's too, still too early to say because we still have 15 more minutes to go and in, and it only takes maybe less than a few less than a minute for players to break the imperium yes okay and for this one this is Pratas. Pratas is up in uh, defending here mm-hmm. uh, so you know just guilds are just going to try and defend their own castles maybe let's try and look at scarlet palace once again mg uh, is the defense already up for last nightmare, or maybe Dominar is still taking their chances into breaking that defense? So no, last nightmare is still defending. Um, but you know what Dominar did earlier scattered the uh, when when the defense of last nightmare was scattered. Yeah. Um, you know made last nightmare uh, more serious in the defending this yep. castle. Yes. So yeah, they they're not gonna push out more members later on. Again, because we don't have an emergence, uh, emergency call yes. um, for the time being, uh, it makes it harder for the guilds to, you know, to secure different castles. So that's why Portal Death is the solution uh, right now for our guilds to defend the castles yes. perfectly. And uh, they need to uh, like regroup properly. They cannot go in one by one because again, if they're just gonna go one by one without waiting their guildmates their push is gonna be wasted and as you can see most of the guilds as well are uh, pretty um, set up for example uh, last night where it's pretty set up right now uh, they just don't want to uh, lose this um, castle again right but yep. my prediction um, Dominari is gonna go back to the pointing system strat they already uh, reset uh, the uh, Scarlet Palace and I think that's enough for them. And uh, now we're just gonna go around and tap multiple um, castle. Speaking of multiple yes. castle, uh, Luina Five is already captured by Last Sniper. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, Last Sniper. Yes, and you know, MG, um, earlier you said you can't go one by one. Well, technically you can go in one by one mm-hmm. um, if you have a strategic plan to deal with the defenses like what Dominari did earlier to, to the defense of Money Heist. Yeah. Aside from the numbers, uh, you saw that their push, you know, they didn't really go all out yep. um, at the first push. So they maybe they first pushed with those mechanics, with those Mado Gears, um, some Royal Guards and Rune Knights went in as well. Um, a few, maybe one Sorcerer went in w- with them to actually... Uh, cast that land protector or yes. prevent other players from casting those four skills against their their own members. And because of the strategic strategic push that Dominari did earlier against Money Heist, mm-hmm. um, you know Dominari was able to secure uh, that Virgil Castle that uh, Money Heist was defending yep. earlier. Uh, but you know they they managed to push the defense of Last Nightmare as yep. well. So maybe they did the same thing. Maybe because the defense of last nightmare was scattered. Yes. Uh, you know, it's still too early to say what happened um, at that time because uh, it was a quick. Um, it, it happened very, very, very quickly. Very quick, yeah. 
And then we did actually manage to capture that on our three. Yes, I agree, James. Again, um, again, the, the strategy of that last night earlier is is very uh, what do you call this? Um, is very aggressive, right? Mm-hmm. Again, um, they release multiple players out of the pool of the defense, making sure that they want to reset other castles or even um, capture castles, yeah. and. Other guilds recognize that last nightmare's defense is is actually half or or maybe like two parties, and uh, a quick call there come from the dominari without any hesitations. They managed to push, take down the defense, went to the imperium, killed for a, for a few minutes on the uh, pre M, wipe last uh, last nightmare, and you know break the imperium and release the uh, castle. In order for last night we're to stay in on one castle and uh, you know keep last night we're in one spot so they cannot cap multiple castles again. Well, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure last night we're still some members yep, outside. Definitely, yes. Um, Scarlet Palace right now, maybe scouting different castles as well because we only have 10 minutes left in our yep. session. Um, you know, if they are going to repeat what they did in the first session, because in the first session they managed to get five points. They managed to secure five castles at that time. Uh, but on the second session, you know, Dominari outdid them. Uh, the Red Dominari, that's led by Delinquent. Yep. Um, you know, um, it the Delinquent managed to get five, while Last Nightmare managed only to get three. But in the first session, it was not it, it was the other way around. So Last Nightmare got five, the, um, Dominari got three. So maybe in this session, um, they are going to be tied so that they can uh, even out the score. Yep. Because I think they've been bickering in the in the end game chat as well. So yes. maybe they are, uh, you know, uh, rivals in one way or another. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we'll see later on what will happen because. You know, uh, we still have 10 more minutes. A lot can still happen in the few remaining minutes of our War of Imperium session. Again, uh, guilds are just going to try and defend their own respective yes. castles while other castles are open for the taking. Um, but, you know, if you don't have enough scouts um, for your guild, you cannot um, okay. find out or you will not find out which castles are open. So you need more scouts. You need more people in your guild that yeah, that's why you know having decent manpower having a lot of members in your guild uh is also an advantage yes um and the same time uh like we mentioned uh earlier we're right about uh dominari they just want to reset technically the uh last nightmares um castle and as you can see earlier we saw dominari multiple parties again going back to the point system strat they have one party or maybe five players per castle now and they have this, uh, their alliance scattered around maybe uh, they already talked about this um, so I think uh, Money Heist nonsense and even Last Nightmare um, needs to uh, have their scout we only have like 9 minutes on the clock uh, they need to get those informations up and running and once they have that uh, that's a perfect time to react and move as one or maybe uh, move their breakers to take the Imperium right away. Mm-hmm. And slowly but surely, guilds are securing their own respective castles. Again, just a game. Uh, just trying to secure their own spot as well. Um, some Imperiums are open. Of course, we are going to look at different um, castles right now, MG, uh, since this is open, you know. Um, but, you know, just a game. Uh, goons... Uh, Arsenal, Money Heist, I think they are defending their own castles. Yep. Um, like what we saw Opus Day earlier, I Opus, think yeah. it's in Skogul. Uh, Swan Hill, I think Nonsense was holding that earlier. Arsenal, right now we, we see a Ranger here in Kremhild. Um, I think they are going to defend this uh, Kremhild castle as well. Uh, and, you know, slowly but surely, guilds are just trying to defend their own spot, making sure they have enough manpower to deal with the opposing guilds that are going to um, try and break the Imperium. Yes. And I think this is one of the good things about having an alliance on uh, War of Imperium. You have, the, uh, you have that information that you need to get, especially on who's holding the castle or who's depending on that specific uh, castle. Um, having that um, crucial information on your hands 
from that information, you can actually react or create a stra uh, strategic plan on how to capture or even how to avoid to uh, to to have that um, out maybe to outclash you on specific fights, mm. right? You need to know yes. what numbers you have. You need to know what class you have in order for to, to counter specific mm. roles. And you need to recognize as well that it's a pointing system. It's a pointing system game. Regardless of how many wins that you get, regardless how many kills that you can uh, take down, in the end of the day, you need to have the points in order for you to gain those points. Uh, yeah, to gain those rewards. Yes, rather. rewards, rewards, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, because you know the rewards are great here if you manage to get a tier A or a tier B reward um, you will be able to get a musical card or magic card album which you can get a mini boss card um, and uh, you know for the tier A reward uh, there's a dark lord card reward for that so for guilds like last nightmare and dominar I think they are preparing themselves to you know get that reward because you know an MVP card is still an MVP card yes. paired with with a dark illusion card this is going to be a big thing for yep. our guilds right there okay so um going back um on what we're tackling earlier information mm -hmm. is the key on this one like for example on this scenario goons are moving out they're trying to scout and uh if they're actually part of the uh, group of uh you know of the big guilds they can actually report it back that, uh, you know, MH is here, Harmony Ice is here, you can actually take this, or uh, they only have like five, for example, they only have like five Warlocks defending, or they only have like um, one Sura uh, for their ground control. Uh, from that information, they can uh, react and uh, move around and take the Imperium. So Yes, well, aside from the information from the alliance yeah. uh, if they are actually talking to one another um you can all you will also have that peace of mind yep. that um you're not going to deal with them at uh, this session because you know if you're you are able to ally with a big guild like for example dominari and uh arsenal um arsenal doesn't need to mind the dominari they are going to deal with dominari yeah, later on i agree uh, that's the peace of mind that uh, Arsenal is going to get that time. But, uh, you know, what's uh, different this time around for our guilds is that um, since the alliances are getting formed uh, and uh, there's one huge alliance ri right now, um, if, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. this is uh, two guilds of Dominari, two guilds of Coons, Arsenal, and uh, just a game. Yes, just a game. So, you know, this is a huge alliance right now. Um, that uh, was formed here, just here in the third session. Maybe in the second section, se second session, they already, um, you know, have yep. talks yep. about what, yeah. what they are going to do. And right now in the s third session, it became um, very clear to us. Maybe in the fourth yep. session, it will be different. Uh, maybe it's just for this session. We don't know what will happen, in the, of course, in the future. But, you know, maybe they have talks, they have an agreement on uh, what, um, how they are going to deal with uh, this War of Imperium um, to deal with other guilds, guilds here in this session. Exactly. Speaking of benefits, I uh, just want to go back a bit on what you have said. Um, one of the good benefits that they can actually uh, gain here is the resources, right? Mm -hmm. So if the guilds are allied with your guild, that means there's no you know, fights, right? So meaning... The uh, resources that you're going to have, you will only burn it against the opponent guilds. And currently, I think they only have like four or five guilds um, outside of their alliance that they're going to fight. So having those um, alliance can actually benefit you in terms of information and in terms of resources as well. So good call here from, uh, from the guilds here that if they, uh, if they build that alliance. So good call there. They're actually benefiting, and we actually seeing it um, on the result of the uh, movement here of the guilds. Yes, uh, we might see a different, um, you know, alliance getting formed later on uh, for the next session. But right now, uh, you know, because of the alliance that was formed earlier, it made it easier for the other guilds to push Ex in yes. on different castles and secure those points for <laughs> their own uh, respective guild. But right now, we are going to see goons maybe push in this castle, Virgil, to maybe take them 
take this castle for their own as yep. we only have two minutes left for this uh, third session of War of Imperium. So guys, you know, if you want to shout out your favorite guild, just type it in the comment section. Shout out your favorite player. We will actually read that before we end our stream for today. Um, and, you know, for our viewers out there who are not familiar with what's happening right now, this is third session of War of Imperium. And uh, here in this uh, server, our OGGH. Yep. And... You know, we still have an event ongoing that uh, you can get rewards based yep. on the points that you can get in uh, the first four sessions of War of Imperium. So this is now the third session and, uh, you know, we can actually discuss the scores later on. Yep. Um, but, you know, we, we only have a few minutes left. Maybe that's just short of a minute left yep. left in this session and uh you know guilds are just trying to secure their own spot yep. we saw some uh, last minute breaks <laughs> happening um like uh Kremhild, uh getting taken by fratness yep. uh money high securing his Kogel castle virgil by nemesis armada uh nuremberg by uh, dominari and sacred palace of course by last nightmare so last nightmare i think already secured two castles right now um yep. So it was Baba Grove Hill and uh, Sacred Palace. So they are just going to try and secure those Pion yes. uh, Greenwood Lake castles. Mm. So I think uh, everyone just uh, settling uh, to their castles right now and just waiting for the uh, time to pass, you know. And uh, still a good uh, good game to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, we saw multiple strats. On different guilds we saw last night we're moving out and um, yeah it's a good uh, War of Imperium session yes and uh, based on what I see in the feed right now MG mm -hmm. um, Dominari secured one castle for themselves the red, that's the red one yep. um, head led by um, delinquent the, the Dominari led by Shuya managed to get I think that this is three Three castles right now. Goons already uh, also has cast, has a castle arsenal. <laughs> Nonsense, fratres. Uh, Money heist has a castle as well. Uh, last nightmare. Got three. Got, um, they got three. Rottenberg just a game. So Dominari, I think Dominari secured four castles for the time being. So we, we'll know the scores later on as we are. Uh, maybe uh, rather on before the next yeah, session we we'll discuss session. the yes. scores. Um, but you know this is um, uh, a War of Imperium that we saw a lot of things happening, like a new alliance is getting formed, more players you know joining in on War of Imperium as we see the numbers getting boosted every uh, successful every every session. So yes. maybe in the fourth session that will happen on Tuesday. Same time, 9 to 11 p.m. GMT plus 8. Maybe we'll see more players, you know, joining in the session and to try and uh, maybe get a castle Oof. here um, here in ROGGH. Yes, and um, I think um, the strategies of the other guilds now is pretty obvious. Um, pro pre it's actually pretty obvious that they're actually splitting on the last 10 minutes of the time. And I think the small guilds can actually react from that now. You know, or even join a uh, alliance maybe in order for them to get those sweet points on their um, on the scoreboard, right? And um, regarding the um, clashes today, we saw massive clashes earlier from um, last nightmare versus Dominari from the entrance death uh, to the uh, preempt. We saw Mount Highs clashing um, or defending their castle um, versus Dominari Arsenal in just a game. Um, I think uh, it's a pretty action-packed uh, War of Imperium today compared to mm -hmm. uh, the last one. Because I, we don't understand that the, the last uh, last War of Imperium, they just want to focus on points and we cannot blame them, right? The, good, the, the, yes. the rewards are good and they just want to grab it, right? Yes, well, you know, uh, like what you said earlier, the first two sessions of War of Imperium, uh, guilds are more focused on testing the waters <laughs> of the other guilds. Um, they are more... You know, you know, they are fo focusing on their wars, like what yep. you said, and you know, these guilds right now, uh, they want to get into the action because yep. this is just the third session of War of Imperium the server, and we still have you know the fourth session for the event, and we ha have more War of Imperium sessions in the future. 
but you know MG like uh, what we've seen what we saw earlier yep. uh, you know guilds are forming alliances uh, guilds are now more <laughs> aggressive of course because they have more supplies now to deal with their, their opponents um more people are joining in of course because of the levels yes. the free stat reset yep. the free skill reset um that are available currently uh in the server you know you can get more out of this session for now and uh you know because of the advantages that you can get uh in war of imperium uh you know guilds are more eager to you know capture castles and gain those points for the rewards yes and um again um for for that, um, James, I just want to step back again. You mentioned first session, second session. First mm-hmm. session, they want to clash. Second session, they want to go on the pointing system. And for the third session, they actually mixed up, right? They actually combined those two strategies into one. You have the clash, you have the pointing system, combining those uh, strats, um, resulting into a uh, you know a reset of castle, mm-hmm. um, getting multiple castles. I think it's a it's a good um, adaptation on the guild leaders on recognizing on what they have and what are uh, what are they facing in the server. So uh, perhaps to all the uh, you know to all guilds that we have here. Yes, and uh, because of the what they did earlier, you know, last nightmare is going to be careful in the future in what they are going to do and uh, how they are going to. Um, you know, ca- try and capture different castles as well in the future. Mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, it was a really successful session for our other guilds right here. Dominari, um, you know, uh, they proved their dominance yep. in the server by, you know, having more numbers and, you know, having a good offensive strategy like what yes. they did earlier. And um, I think that's Virgil, Virgil in, yes. uh, in uh, Britannia realm. Um uh, trying to break the defense of money highs. Of course, money highs doesn't have enough numbers, but they have they have a solid defense at that yes. time. Yes. Yes. Um, you know the strategy of Dominari that time was to push in, not together, not the full yes. force, just pushing in. Uh, they just push in the decent amount of members, uh, the specific with specific classes to yes. actually deal with and soak up as much damage as possible. Then after they deal a bit of damage and wipe maybe a few members of yep. Money Heist at that time, uh, you know, the the full force went in and uh, secured that castle for yes. Dominari. And, you know, that was a good strategy. Guilds are just adjusting um, their own strategy and uh, their own um, builds for War of Imperium. Yes. And speaking of that, uh, James, I'm very curious what's going to happen on our last day for this War of Imperium session. Are we going to see a massive clash? Are they going to hmm. focus on clash? Or are that's they for the still... event though, right? Yeah, that's, that's for, the, for event. the event. That's it's for, for the, the event. event. Yeah. All right. So, um, I'm very excited to see what's going to happen on this uh, fourth day of our event. If Gels will focus on clash or are they still uh you know gonna focus on points so yes. yeah i'm yeah. very excited and hype about this yes uh we'll know what will happen on the next session again the next session the next session of war of imperium will be on tuesday that is going to be 9 to 11 p.m still gmt plus 8 so that is the same time uh that we had earlier yep. and you know uh, war of imperium is every saturday and tuesday 9 to 11 p.m and uh, you know we are going to read the some of the comments right now of course we saw some players commenting on what happened between dominari and uh last nightmare, nightmare. yep um of course uh they are some guilds are cheating for money heist uh arsenal uh dominari yep and uh some names that we can't pronounce because uh, that's yeah inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> exactly. and, you know Overall, that was a good uh, third session of War of Imperium. Again, um, next session will be on Tuesday, 9 to 11 p.m. GMT plus 8. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's session. Once yep. again, we are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. And uh, thank you and so much. See you all next time. Yep. yep. Bye, guys.